Dr. Lee. Took you long enough to find that evidence. Let me see what you've got. I'm afraid it's bad news. Since when do you know what I consider bad news? Just let me hear it. lied to me. They lied to me, and I didn't even realize how far it went. All those years of loyalty. For nothing. No matter how badly it hurts, you needed to hear the truth. And for that, I thank you. I came to the Institute to get away from the Brotherhood. From the whole world. I just wanted to do my research in peace. Father took me in and gave me access to cutting-edge technology that I only dreamed existed. <laughs> I became jaded. I thought that the Institute cared, that they wanted to better mankind. <sighs> Maybe in their own twisted way they still do. But now I realize if you can't trust the people you're working for, then it's all pointless. If they lied about Dr. Virgil, who knows what else they've been lying about? or what their plans are for my work. I'll make my way back to the Brotherhood, but I'm going to have to do it on my own. I can't take any chances being seen with you. Tell whoever sent you that they've just regained the services of Dr. Madison Lee. This is day eight of trial six. The last week has been very productive, but exhausting. I think we'll need a break after this. Binet has done some really marvelous work with the personality mesh. It's... Well, it's almost too good. The responses map almost identically to expectations, some of the most lifelike I've seen. Of course, it's not really Sean. None of his memories are in there. That, even now, would be a step too far. It's starting to have an effect on the team, I think. I know I've been caught up in the moment once or twice. Just a second or two, forgetting that he's not a real boy. Still, I think we'll need to consider restricting him to the lab only for the moment. I'm well aware that others are, are put off by his presence. <laughs> if I were slightly more arrogant, I might consider that a sign of success. Safety first. Remember that. Status. All functions normal. Sounds like those raiders at Libertalia were quite a handful. Liam's been trying to teach me robotics. It's more complicated than I thought.
have to work pretty hard to impress anyone down here. get me what we talked about, and I'm in business. Liam, I got your username and password. You railroad guys really deliver, you know? Hooking that ancient tech up to the modern terminals is going to be seriously time-consuming, even with that password. So hand it over and I'll get started. This is a delicate operation. Are you okay if we have to use violence good question if we find ourselves in that position we pull the plug and wait for another opportunity we can't risk anyone's life over this here you go great listen i need a favor z114 is working the atrium again can you give him an update it's safer if you do it Must speak quickly. We cannot risk being discovered. I have made arrangements. I can get the 13 we discussed into position. But, tell me, do you think Mr. Benet's plan will work? A better plan is to use this opportunity to rescue everyone. But, Synths will have to fight for it. And I thought Mr. Benet's plan was too ambitious. Of course, I'd fight for my freedom. And I know of a few others that might as well. But enough to face all the guards? Perhaps if we stand up openly to the scientists, more of my people would join us. Yes. Even if most don't join the fight, certainly there are many others who have been waiting their whole lives for this. But we should be prepared for some of the synths to fight against us. All people want to be free. They just need the opportunity to take it. If the railroad inspires everyone like you do, the SRB is wise to fear you. You will give my people an opportunity, and they will flock to us. I admire Mr. Beignet a great deal. We can't tell him about this plan. It's his people we'll be fighting. I will talk to my friends. Meet me here tomorrow. If I don't make our appointment, assume the worst.
Wakey, wakey, bro. Come on. Time to move. Vault 81. Have I got some questions for the folks down here? Hold it right there. Vault 81 security. I don't know where you got your hands on a working pit boy, but you better start talking. I got it in Vault 111. Vault 111? Haven't heard of that one yet. And what sort of business are you looking to take care of here in 81? I'm just a traveler. I thought I'd take a look around. Is that so? And you expect me to believe that? Oh. Overseer. Who is it, Edwards? Ma'am. Some new Commonwealth traveler. Not one of our usual traders. Well, if someone wants in, they can earn it like everyone else. Let me speak to them. Sorry about that. Officer Edwards here was just doing his job. I'm sure you can understand our need for caution. For newcomers, we like to operate on exchange. You help us, we help you. I'm interested. What is it you need? Fusion cores. Three, to be exact. You get the fusion cores. We grant the access. Done. I happen to have exactly what you need. Really? Well then, by all means. Welcome. I'll be down to meet you at the entrance. Come on, Gwen. My guys have been working doubles for weeks now. They need a break. Everyone's working hard right now, Cal. You think I don't know that? Just do the best with what you can. That's all I'm asking. Fine. I'll see what I can do. Well, but you at and least I we'll both be able to see anyone coming in here. This one will pick up your spirits for sure. It's Nat King Cole, working with Orange Colored Scout. Sorry about that. As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects underway. Gwen McNamara, Overseer. Welcome to Vault 81. Here, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient, but there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. I'm impressed you maintained a successful vault for so long. Thanks. I owe it to the overseers before me, but some here would disagree. A few believe opening the doors to the Commonwealth was a mistake. Aren't you curious about the Commonwealth and what it has to offer? Of course. But my duty is to these people and keeping them safe. We receive a few select traders often enough to stay well informed. That's why I like to use a give and take system. If outsiders are willing to help us, we're willing to help them. Speaking of, if you're ready, I can take those fusion cores from you. Here you go. I'm sure you'll put them to good use. I won't, but Dr. Penske certainly will. Now, I have work to do. Ma'am, what about his friend here? I'll allow it. Security is already extra mindful as it is. If he's lived this long in the Commonwealth, I'm sure he's chosen his friends wisely. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office.
Another outsider? What they let you in for? What's with the attitude? I don't trust outsiders. We didn't need your help before, we don't need it now. The Overseer never should have opened up the vault to your kind. I'm a fellow vault dweller. I don't care where you're from. It's not here. Hi. So, we got a new visitor today. Don't say anything, but man, I'd love to be out there. It takes some preparation. I'd learn how to use a gun and be ready to use it before I went out there. I've never even touched a gun. Now, I can't even say if our security has seen any real combat, but with the hours we're working these days, I'm not even sure where I'd find the time to practice. Why the long hours? We're just making sure this roof over our heads doesn't cave in on us. They say it's all the moving parts that have us working around the clock these days. Structurally, I guess 81 is still pretty sound. Vault Tech sure knew what they were doing when they set these places up. Well, I don't want to keep you, and I gotta get back to work. Maybe I'll see you around. Hi. Your pit boy ever act up on you? Mine's been glitchy lately. No signs of radiation. Impressive. Oh, look at this place. What I wouldn't give for some real time off. Hey, Ashes. What are you doing up here? Ashes, where are you going? Ash! Damn it. Aaron's not going to like this. Katie Pinn is the teacher here in 81. She'd stop by her class. She's big on learning from outsiders. I expect you'll both stay out of trouble. Pardon me, officer. Dr. Penske runs a hydroponics lab here. She may have some work for you if you're interested. I got two words on what I expect out of you. Best behavior. Hey. Now that you made it in, we'll be keeping an eye on you. So do us all a favor and behave yourself. Mister, are you really from the Commonwealth? Yes, I am. I knew it! Hey, I can show you around the vault if you want. Just five caps. Sure, but I'm not paying you. Okay, okay. Boy, you're a real cheapskate. We'll start over here. This is the depot. The Combs family run it. Aaron and I are best friends. Her mom and dad fight a lot, so I don't like to go in there when they're around. But if you need something, they're the ones that have it. Good to know, Austin. Thanks. See, I told you I know things. 
Next stop, the Overseer. I bet you killed a lot of strange things. Ooh, and raiders. I bet you fought raiders too. The Overseer's office is up there. They're busy up there, and they do not like to be bothered. She makes rules, but she's nice. I like her. Does she take care of people that break the rules? Security mostly takes care of the people who break the rules, but she's in charge of all of the security officers. It doesn't happen very often. Next stop, the diner. Now we gotta go downstairs. That's where the diner is. Everybody eats there. Sometimes it gets real crowded. The summer sets are nice though. You'll like them. Hello, Austin. I see you're showing our guests from the Commonwealth around. Yes, ma'am. This is the Sunshine Diner. Grant says that they'll take all of our hard work and turn it into swill. Mr. and Mrs. Somerset run the diner. They're pretty nice. Mrs. Somerset's pies are the best. How's their food? Other than the pies. I like it. Mrs. Somerset always sneaks me seconds. I'll save you a slice of pie, Austin. Next stop, Horatio. I told you they were nice. Do you like your hair? I like mine. I hate combing it, though. Grand makes me comb it. Austin, that hair of yours is a mole rat's nest. <laughs> this is where Horatio fixes up people's hair. Aaron's mom comes here all the time. Grand hardly comes here at all. She makes me cut my hair, though. It's not fair. If I ever need a new hairstyle, I'll come here. I hate getting my hair cut. Next stop is Grand. Let's go see Grand. I live with her. She's not my- Bingo. Real grandmother, though. My parents died when I was real little. Hi, Grand. Austin, what are you doing here? Are you bothering that stranger from the Commonwealth? I'm not bothering him. I'm helping him. Hmm. That's Grand. She takes care of me. You can call her Dr. Pensky. She acts all grumpy, but it's not for real. Says you. She runs our hydroponics lab. It's where we get all our food. You don't get anything from the Commonwealth? Nope. Grand grows it all here. She's really smart. <laughs> Next stop, Miss Katie. Come on, hurry up. We gotta go to the other side of the vault. I'll show you where I go to school. I bet you didn't have to go to school. Leaving. Well, thanks for taking my tour. This is the school. Miss Katie runs it. It's boring most of the time. But Grand says I have to go anyway. Your Gran is a smart woman, Austin. Are there a lot of kids in the vault? Not that many. The overseer says that we're using population control. Whatever that is. Next stop is the medical clinic. Let's go downstairs. I'll show you the clinic. Doc Forsyth and Rachel are okay, I guess. But I don't go there unless I have to. Or, unless Grant makes me.
This is our medical clinic. If you get hurt or sick, you come down here. Dr. Forsyth says I can't bother him or Rachel while they're working. Did you ever get sick? Just colds and stuff. Hardly anyone here gets sick. Mr. Somerset broke his foot once, though. They put a big cast on it, and he had to walk with crutches. Now we go see Erin. She's gonna be surprised when she sees you. Come on, this way. Erin and I spend a lot of time together. She didn't believe me when I said I would bring you to her. Look who I found! The stranger from the Commonwealth! Wow. You're really from the Commonwealth? Yes, I am. Whoa. Someone from the Commonwealth! That's so cool! We haven't had a visitor in a while now. Thanks for doing my tour! I was so cool to show you off to everyone. I'm heading now. Don't wait up for me. Again? But I need your help here. To go, are we? <clears throat> so you're the new guy. I heard we let someone into the vault. Uh, how long do you plan on sticking around? Why do you want to know? I'll ask the questions. I'm the one that lives here. I have a right to know. Not sure. We'll see. Yeah, I guess we will. We can take care of ourselves here in 81. We don't need to be letting in every straight traveler that comes our way. Dr. Penske runs a hydroponics lab here. She may have some work for you if you're interested. Oh, you're that new traveler. You must have had so many adventures out in the Commonwealth. Is it boring here in the vault? No, I love teaching these kids. But it's not the same as fighting to survive. Would you mind talking to my class about life in the Commonwealth? I'd be glad to talk to them. Marvelous. Stop by whenever class is in session. I'll just stop what I'm doing and turn the class over to you. You should stop by and see Horatio while you're here. Imagine you come across many barbers in the Commonwealth. Sorry about the maintenance. It never ends these days. I hope I'm not being presumptuous, but I'd like to ask you a favor. Would you mind donating some medical samples, even just a blood sample? Sure, you can have some blood. Excellent. Just have a seat, and I'll draw some blood.
Sit there. This will only take a sec. There. Hardly hurt a bit, eh? Thank you. This will be a great help. Now, I need to get these prepared immediately. You're that wanderer from the Commonwealth. I'm Rachel. I assist Dr. Forsythe with his medical duties. Are you sick or injured? Do you get a lot of patients in the vault? No. The people of this vault are surprisingly healthy. If that's all, I have work to do. Yeah? Hello, Dr. Forsyth. I've heard some doctors out there specialize in facial reconstruction. I can't imagine attempting surgery in those conditions. I heard we had a trader in today. Hopefully, 81 will quit her fussing long enough to give us folks a decent break. Hey, Calvin. Sorry, new guy. Not a lot of time to talk right now. I'll be quick, I promise. Ha! We'll see about that. What can I do you for? So, there's a lot of upkeep going on right now. Hell, you could say that again. Old 81 here, she's a straight-up wreck. Pretty solid for a while, easy enough to keep up with her needs, but in the last few years or so, damn, she got feisty. Been going through tools like they were going out of style, so if you got any, I'd be more than happy to take them off your hands. Sure, you got yourself a deal. Stupendous. One less thing to bug the overseer about. Anyway, here I am running my mouth when there's work to do. Sorry I can't talk longer, stranger, but mind the maintenance. Shouldn't get in your way, at least. Calvin's always looking for tools. I heard he'll pay caps if you got them. This strain is doing quite well. Dr. Penske. Very little discoloration. Strong cellular plant structure. My latest batch of fruit is doing quite well. I'll have to see how it holds up to exposure. Ah, you'll do perfectly. I'm in need of a willing test subject to try this new strain of fruit I've created. Uh, sure. I like fruit. Excellent. Just tell me how it tastes and how it makes you feel. Hmm. Now, where did I put that Geiger counter?
Pardon me, Dr. Penske? Did you try the fruit? Tell me, how was it? It was good. No adverse effects. I knew it. This is good progress. I'll have to start a new batch right away. Since you've been so helpful, maybe you can help out in another capacity. You see, I need these plants to conduct my studies, and they take some special nourishment, especially the carrots. If you could keep an eye out for fertilizer while you're out in the Commonwealth, I'll be more than happy to compensate you for your efforts. Sure, I can do that. Really? Great. I was dreading having to put in another request to the Overseer. Just bring by whatever you can find whenever you have the time. You got guts wearing that pit boy in the common life. I can't believe someone hasn't tried to steal it yet. Why do you hate to disappoint the little ones? Marcus William Somerset. Oh, don't you go on thinking you're so clever. Those pies are going to be for Calvin and his crew. Lord knows they could use a treat right now. Hey, you tried telling that to Erin and breaking a little girl's heart. I didn't realize my wife was so cold-blooded. Mark, I swear, over 40 years of marriage, you need to count your blessings you're still alive. Another new face in the vault, eh? What is it we're needing now, fella? I gave some fusion cores to the Overseer. Fusion cores? <laughs> Must be for something high-tech. I was hoping for a crate of mute fruit myself. Quickest way to boost morale around here? Have my Mary whip up a bunch of her famous mute fruit pies. The people here, they're a bit overworked these days. Some blame the Overseer. But it ain't Gwenny's fault. Poor girl. Just landed the right position at the wrong time. What's going on? Why are people so overworked? Well, you live in the same place for 200 years. Time just takes its toll. Until the Overseer opened the vault to the traitors, we were just slapping on one band-aid after the next. Now we're just scrambling to keep old lady one together. I'm sure she's doing her best. I know she is. She's a smart gal. And maintaining this bucket of bolts ain't easy. Well, I best be getting back to it. Don't want the old lady on me again. Sixty-two years old and still fiery as ever. Your pit boy ever act up on you? Mine's been glitchy lately. Stay out of trouble. If there's anything I can do to lighten the load, or, you know, if you need anything proofread. Careful running around the vault. Lots of maintenance going on. Never had an incident on my watch, and I don't want to start today. All these people working hard makes an old man feel bad. Maria. You must be that new traveler Gwen let in. It's always nice to see a new face around here. Nice place you have here. Why, thank you. Mark and I try to keep her tidy. The Sunshine Diner, we call her. If you need any food for the road or just feeling hungry, you let me know. Our menu isn't quite as exotic as the Commonwealth, but it'll do in a pinch.
Do you run this place by yourself? Heavens no, I'd be a wreck. My husband, Mark, he helps me. Though mostly with the tasting. Is it hard work feeding everyone here? It used to be easier. Back when I was young, we had more supplies than we could count. Why, my mother taught me some recipes that had ingredients that... Well, I doubt you could find them anywhere anymore. Since we started trading, we managed well enough, but... The variety? Let's just say it's more than a bit lacking. Have you ever thought about leaving the vault? Never. Can you imagine? Oh, born and raised right here in Vault 81. It was easier back then, you know. Supplies were high, and the dangers outside were both severe and unknown. Poor Gwen didn't know what she was getting into when she accepted the role of Overseer. How is Gwen doing as the Overseer? It weighs on her, I can tell. We need help from the Commonwealth, but a few people, they don't care for it. Not to mention the state of the vault. Upkeep's got people working round the clock these days. Even me. If people are going to be up all night working, they'll need a good meal to keep them going. I'll think about it. Still working up an appetite, I see. Hungry? Sunshine Diner opens in the morning. Marie will get you squared away. Nice, Pip boy. If it ever starts acting up when you see Alexis, she'll fix it right up. Do me a favor. If my good for nothing brother asks you for Jet, tell him to buzz off. Who's your brother? His name's Bobby, and he's my poor excuse for a twin, so you can get a good idea of what he looks like. Look, he's a junkie, but he's getting careless. If he gets caught, we're both in trouble. And as much as I'd like to leave this canned paradise, that's not how I want to go. If he's addicted, you should try to help him get clean. I don't think I haven't tried. I locked him in his room for a week. It wasn't two days before he was using again. Now I admit, I've got my own share of the blame here. Bobby gets his chems from me, and I keep him on a short leash. But not anymore. I'm cutting off his useless ass. Good. That's the first step to helping your brother. Should have done it a long time ago. But things ain't easy around here. Please direct any maintenance requests to Mr. DeLuca. They will be handled in the order they were received. So you're programmed for vault maintenance? An astute observation. I assist Mr. DeLuca with reactor maintenance, tending to the heart of the vault. He prefers to supervise while giving me the privilege of fulfilling the tasks. Does he help out with any other work? If memory serves, the last bit of work he performed was when Mr. Whittaker forced him to clean up the supply room. He was also quite vocal about his distaste for the job. Hey, the outsider. You lost? No trading going on down here. This is an interesting room. Really? Guess maybe for an outsider. Just the old generators down here. Oh, and hey, if you got any jet on you, I may be willing to take it off your hands. Say, 75 caps? 
Can't help you there. Damn. Well, if you change your mind or start feeling charitable, look me up. Just don't let Tina know. She'd be all over my ass.
did you do that? I can barely get mine to save. Hi, how are you? 